Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. So, if you're new to this channel, guys, my name is Piers. Um, I invest in service accommodation or Airbnb business. I've worked with loads of clients throughout the UK uh, to start their service accommodation journey in my investor club. I've got consulting where you know I scale or I help to scale service accommodation owners. There's so many service accommodation owners at the moment who are working with me to to grow their brand eventually to get more sales and bookings uh, and you know today I'm, I later on in the video I will share you one of the story of my clients actually we, we've worked for about three weeks now and I want to share a bit of journey and biggest thing in my channel you probably see is I celebrate my client success and their results as well so please stay tuned later on in the video I will share you some of the tips which is going to be very useful but thank you so much for watching and if you're not subscribed to my channel please make sure you hit the subscribe button because I think over I say over 70% of people who are watching my videos are actually not subscribed. I mean, well, every video we kind of, oh, I let my clients know that this is so important that we share their successes. And today's video, let me actually roll a clip of me first, actually having literally my normal exercise walk. And then uh, literally while I was walking, I, I received a text. So let me roll that in, on quickly and we'll catch up in a minute. Guys, this is absolute excitement. I was just walking around. You can see uh, this is just my way of actually refreshing. But I've just had my one of my clients actually send me a photo of what he's been up to. And what a great problem to have. I'm so excited. I'll be doing more videos. Uh, we've got one more call to go. But what an excitement this is. And I, I hope, you know, there's service accommodation owners who are really working hard. Uh, but my client has really taken it to next level. Well, firstly, you can see how beautiful is that place. And I was absolutely amazed that, you know, there's places right in my doorstep that I can go and absolutely relax. Now, I'm a massive fan of traveling. Uh, I've been to several times to Spain last year, spent nearly three or three slash four weeks um, in Spain traveling last year. Uh, while enjoying and running my service accommodation business but this time obviously we can't travel so I've been going into different woods and actually really enjoying my walk so going back into my client results I was so surprised that this client who I absolutely remember I mean actually to be fair we had a phone call literally after uh, that text messages and I couldn't resist and I, I said look what, what's happening here and see when Piers I still remember the day I called you not being able to book one night in her accommodation. Now C's actually got two units and C couldn't even put one, you know, a client in one of her accommodation for a night. That's how much she was struggling. And three weeks later, to be in a position like this, where now she's overloaded with sales, she's now booked somebody in one of her accommodation for five weeks, all paid. She's working with another one for seven months lead nothing can bet and she's got more leads uh, as, as shown on the text so i am so fortunate and lucky that i'm working with very highly driven individuals now i said to her it was me i i only kind of show path to people and give my expertise and my tools that i have but they're the one actually who implements in their business and you know what i love that because my service accommodation consulting is all about getting you or you know if you're new to this channel or if you run service accommodation business that is what i work for and i want to make sure my clients are getting good results in return they're getting those sales those bookings so we will do a completely different video well Without further ado, let's talk about today's video, which is obviously best area for SA investment. So I think, again, it's quite a massive topic that's currently in the market. Um, 2019 was a huge, huge year for the industry. Um, I call it the SA community. Now, in the last few weeks where, you know, Airbnb and Booking.com has have closed their calendar, I, again, was abs absolutely proactive uh, throughout the process. I helped I think just over 300 SA owner with Airbnb hacks. I've had with a free Airbnb hack so they can just download it and you know put, put some implementation and some of the results um few of the SA owners got over the country was incredible. Again, I'm very very fortunate to do that uh, to help many SA owners through all my sources. Uh, then I did a Airbnb versus you hack which is all about direct bookings. Again, so many I think just over 
hundred essay owners downloaded it and you know actually implemented what I taught in that free um, free training as well. Um, I I you know I launched better than hotel.co.uk, which is a platform, a service accommodation directory for um, service accommodation owners all over the country. I think we've just uploaded over hundred properties at the moment, which is pretty much to get you direct leads. So. If you're a service accommodation owner and you've not registered with uh, Better Than Hotel, please reach out to me. I'll leave my email down below so I can register your properties and effectively you're gonna have free property listing and also you're gonna have company profile. And if you check some of the company profile, it's literally to drive traffic to your phones and emails and websites. So um, there's nothing like that at the moment in the market. And again, I have been very fortunate that I've been able to work with my marketing team to deliver something like that for you guys uh, in service accommodation business. With that being said, the areas of investment, I, I want to keep it as basic but yet as detailed for you guys to learn about the investment potential area. So if, I mean, if you're watching this video, you might be interested in jumping into service accommodation business. Now, obviously it's it's got numbers of factor that you've got to look at. It's just not the area that's going to make it work for you. But let's talk touch base on SA, uh, best SA areas of investment. So the first thing is, you've got to look at the demand now the demand can say that either it's a tourist area so you've got a tourist so tourism's are at the moment hugely using uh, they call it airbnb obviously we're service accommodation so they love using airbnb so the the area that you're going to look at is it a tourism area so that's what you've a first got to qualify the second thing I normally talk about is my favorite. It, has it got a bit? Is it a business hub? Is that city or if, even that town a business hub which attracts a lot of uh, you know IT consultant or business consultant throughout the year? Now one of the one of my personal investment area has got a massive business hub. Now I know that they attract um, contractors from different part of the world, and now I build a great relationship with someone in the office. So every time they've got somebody coming in the next two, three weeks, the first thing I do is, is I get a call from them straight away. So from the office and say, Piers, do you have you know availability? Now, generally, they're so, so good that they're always long term. Now, we can, we're talking long, long term in terms of I've served sometimes, I think I've accommodated them for six months um, and they actually pay. Uh, nightly rate not a uh, rental when you know the rent normal rent so you've now automatically got a less hassle you've worked with that company before they like the location they know that you know the 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 their employees are going to like um our, our accommodation as well because we've had enough people that we've served from the same company so so again going back into business travelers they're huge huge in the market the third thing is if there's big projects going in the area now if they're building you know few thousand houses you are bound to know that there's going to be massive massive contractors opportunity there now that's again falling back into you doing your research so if the you know if the area is best for SA well again with the contractor market you need to kind of pivot your business now one of the thing I, I want to share this is the client that I shared earlier the story and um, C didn't have that kind of marketing in, and branding in place that is going to attract those contractor booking. Now, remember, they are those kind of clients who are actively always looking for um, accommodation all over the UK, and uh, they've got a certain way. They they've got kind of certain techniques they like to use to find service accommodation owners because obviously a they're booking long term, and b then they want some discounts as well. Now, I'm all about giving discounts on, the, on those kind of clients because at the end of the day, you're going to be booked for a great amount of time. Now. Another text, actually, I'm just going to roll another text that I received uh, this morning, and it was, you know, a contractor asking me. I think it was a good 12 weeks worth of, um, of accommodation or long-term accommodation. So let me just put that clip on quickly. Right there, you go, guys. And again, this is where. If you see, I got a text message. Now, you know, a lot of people say, okay, well, actually, I like my systems and processes and I want to be automated. I do like that. But clients like that who's going to book such a long term, I want to make sure I'm actually talking to them, giving them the best opportunity to book with me because the fact that they are now actually engaging with me compared to my um, competition who might not be found at the moment through you know phone numbers or, or their website. So this is so important. So for contract to market is another best uh, kind of SA area for investment. Now, 
remember those contracts are going to go for years so if you take a contract that's going to be for say your rent to service accommodation contracts two and a half years as a company there you've got a great opportunity in that investment area for two and a half year based on that project so you can all start thinking about different opportunities so i hope this is kind of giving you a great guidance um, and later on on the video i'll share you one tip that's really going to open your eyes to think about the best area for sa uh, investment so please keep watching the video well i think i'm just going to share the last one which is again quite a favorite of mine i've got personal invested in areas where there is airports now airports are um, can be actually quite different now a lot of people say well actually airports peers it might be a one night stay great so what you might be able to achieve absolutely high rates on a nightly on a nightly rate which means because those travelers might be in groups they like to accommodate them you know be family be groups or whatever or friends they want to come into a accommodation and actually be able to be together and in the right pricing right so compared to hotels now hotels in airport areas we know that they charge absolutely sky high especially you know if you've got a flight at three in the morning tomorrow hotels we know that they, they are charging absolutely heavy nightly rates so to to replace that you can have a very less occupancy but at the same time your nightly rate is going to be so high that it's going to you know you might only need 30 35 to 40 percent till you start making huge profits straight away on that one so that's the sort of kind of investment strategy slash thinking you've got to create while you're looking at the kind of the best area for SA investment. We are in May 2020 and I wanted to kind of clear this out. I did a video yesterday about bounce back loan. Um, I think it's a current topic. So obviously I've got so many service accommodation or Airbnb owners actually watching me. So I want to give some of the advice. Um, just it, it, how I feel about it as well. So um, obviously I want to make sure that, you know, whoever's applied bounce back loan, please make sure you are being absolutely visionary about um, your, you know, your business, because obviously you have taken, it's not a grant, it's a loan, which means you, you know, you have to make sure you pay it back. Um, and that's probably one of the, I'm sure, you know, you're, if you're new to service accommodation uh, business now, I know there's 90% people that speaks to me have just got into service accommodation business and they are very new to entrepreneurship or business in general so if you've got that kind of grant of sorry the loan into your bank please make sure you are being visionary you you are knowing what you want to achieve um, and you know use that in the right way so that you're sustainable in the market right now but eventually it will also help you grow so that's 100 percent important the second thing i wanted to talk about is please make sure you speak to your accountant as quickly as possible that's again quite a very very important thing which um, i can't stress enough you know i'm not a financial advisor so but i want to make sure that i am reaching out to people out there who i can help with in business because obviously i've been in business six years and to to say that to, if you don't plan it now correctly with the right you know um, resources and the right suggestion or right um, sp especially speaking to your accountant um, you know it might come to a difficult time for your business so it's very important that if you've got that loan please speak to your accountant right now to give you some financial advising based on your current situation of your business so when it comes back to you know the normal then you start thinking about how you can pay that back I know there's certain I think it's a year off uh, with interest but after that you'll start paying interest for for the loan as well so i hope this is useful guys well i've said this in previous videos as well is um, as a service accommodation owner we've got a, a lot of different hats on and especially if you're new to service accommodation business you know you're doing your own operational you're doing your marketing you're taking calls from clients so there's so many factors that's you know including people operational legals brand and marketing sales and performance there's so many factors that you're controlling and doing in the business and what you don't you know what you do not want to do is slip off from your business in terms of actually not making the right financial decision so guys i hope this video helps you and i hope you know this video video in general which is the best SA area for investment gives you an idea while doing your research that you you can kind of implement it and actually check um, while, while you're actually reaching out to letting agents or landlords and if you're new to the channel um, my name is Piers I run a service accommodation online program where 
I show literally step by step process and if you're watching this video obviously you are interested in running service accommodation or Airbnb business so guys if, please go and check it out the link is down below I show you literally there's 50 plus videos 10 bonus videos I've actually updated some part of the kind of the online program um, the tools and script I provide so like the plug and play so what you need on your website straight away I've got literally everything you need so you can literally pass it over to your website designer and let them do it so you don't have to deal with that I've got two hours service accommodation zone qualifier so in two hours you'll be able to qualify a location in so much details um, I'll share that I've got a deal analyzer you can do your numbers I've got a profit and loss kind of cash flow account um, Excel that you can use. I've got scripts uh, that I use with you know letting agents and landlords. I've got little tools uh, that I use in the business. So if you get a direct bookings, there are some crucial, crucial documents that you need to make sure you sign with your clients so that you know you're a you're being paid on time. B you want to make sure that clients are liable for any damages or deposits. So there's so many factors are putting together in this online program. So please make sure you go down check below and I'll be happy to take a discovery call. I think it's 20 minutes 20 minutes for free. Uh, my calendar's down below so please make sure if you've got more questions reach out to me and I'll happily happily answer that. Well as always, before I finish the video, I'd like you to do two things. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you're subscribed. I think over 70% of people who you, like yourself are watching are not subscribed. But guys, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for all your support. And if you comment down below what, you know, where are you with your journey of service accommodation business, how this, you know, hopefully video has helped you. And if there's anything that you want me to cover in the next video, please comment down below. So guys, thank you so much for watching. 